Let's talk about data visualization. Every data science project involves a data visualization phase. Usually, this phase is just temporary, just an investigation about the structure and properties of the data we are dealing with. Sometimes, though, some of these charts developed during this phase are so interesting and descriptive that they get exported as an image into some final report. There are many options to implement data visualization in NIME. In this chapter, we will go through some of them more or less in detail. First of all, most of the visualization nodes produce a view. Some produce an image, some produce data, and some produce a combination of all those outputs. So what is a view and what are the differences between a view and a data table? Here you have an example of a data table, an output data table, and here you have an example of a view. A view is an interactive way of visualizing plot as well as data tables. Interactive means that the displaying window contains a few additional commands to customize the view and export the image. A data table on the opposite here is a static matrix-like representation of the data. Each cell is identified by means of a unique column header and a unique row ID. Some moderate interactivity is allowed in data tables as well, for example, rendering and sorting. If you right-click the column header, you get to rendering options. If you double-click the column header, you change the sorting of the data rows. But both rendering and sorting are temporary and cannot be saved. There are three basic types of nodes in NIME data visualization. Nodes that produce a JavaScript-based view, nodes that produce just a temporary interactive view, and nodes that produce no view but an image based on the JFree chart Java library. Here are some of these nodes. You can see, for example, three types of nodes producing a scatter plot. The JavaScript scatter plot produces an interactive view, an image, the green square, some data, the product of some interactive operations on the plot, and a view. The scatter plot JFree chart only produces an image but no interactive view. And the simple scatter plot node produces an interactive view, but no data and no image, and the view cannot be saved. Historically, the JavaScript based view nodes are the most recent and therefore the most powerful nodes. However, they don't support, as now we are in version 3.2 of the NIME Analytics platform, they don't support the highlighting property. Before we close with this brief introduction to data visualization nodes, notice the statistics node. Many data mining nodes offer a view as well to summarize results or show decisional paths. To see things better, always check if your node has a view in its context menu. Also, notice the interactive table node. This node is necessary for the highlighting property. Finally, native NIME nodes are not the only possibility. The RView node allows to use the R graphical libraries to create an image of an R plot. Thanks for watching this O'Reilly training video. If you'd like more information on this topic, click on Learn More. Don't forget to subscribe to the O'Reilly Video Training YouTube channel for more tutorials and be sure to like us on Facebook.